Hi students, Dr. V. Bala classes, make it easy chemistry, organic chemistry part 2 IEPC nomenclature it is mainly useful for NEET, IIT, JE and CBC students, CBSC, NCRT, class 11, volume 2, page number 35. Today we are going to discuss about part 2 IEPC nomenclature. There are three main rules. One is where the alphabetic order is used for prefix in the case of ISO, NEO, second and tertiary. And if two or more chains are equal means more number of side chains are used, then for side chain we are using IEPC name also common name. One by one we will discuss. First one is numbering in equal carbon chains. If there happen to be two chains of equal size, then that the chain is to be selected which containing more number of side chains. After selection, the numbering is to be done from the end closer to substituent. That is why we have to select the longest carbon chain. These two structures are similar only, but we have to select the longest carbon chain. In this, there are two possibilities there. In the first structure, here number 1 carbon atom 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 carbon is there. Thus, that is why we said decade. In the same structure, one more possibility is there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That is why if there happen to be two chains equal now, more number of side chains we have to identify. In the first selection, this is the main chain means here 1, 2, 3, 4. At fifth carbon atom, 2 ethyl butyl is present as a side chain. Also, the methyl group at the third carbon atom, one more methyl group again in the third carbon atom. That is why we are going this way. That means there are three substituents are present. If we are selecting this chain as a longest carbon chain means both are containing 10 carbon atom, but in this case 1, 2, 3, in the third carbon atom ethyl is present. In the fifth carbon atom 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, butyl, 2 comma 2 dimethyl butyl is present. Now it is clear that both are similar structure, if we are going this way means we will have 3 substituent, if we are taken this way means only 2 substituent. That is why this is the correct answer for the given organic structure. That means there are 10 carbon atoms we are writing decane. The fifth carbon atom 2 ethyl butyl is present that is alphabetically E. Then methyl group present at the third carbon atom, 2 methyl groups. That is why we are writing 5 first, then 2 ethyl butyl, then 3 comma 3 dimethyl decane. That is why if there happen to be 2 chains of equal size, this and this, then that the chain to be selected which containing more number of side chain. Here three side chains, here only two side chain that is why this is the correct answer for this structure. The next rule, in the IE basic nomenclature, first we have to select longest carbon chain. There are 10 carbon is there in this chain that is why we are writing decane. After that the substituent, 
here sigma 3 sigma sigma 3 group is attached sigma h containing two methyl group no? this is isopropyl common name point of view common prefix isopropyl the same case sigma h containing one methyl and one ethyl mean that is secondary butyl this is a secondary butyl group but we are taking iupac nomenclature point of view this is 10 carbon we are writing decane for this side chain we can also write common name according to this rule and the prefix iso and neo are considered to be part of the fundamental name of alkyl group but prefix secondary tertiary not considered what is the meaning for that now if you are take writing name for this one is isopropyl let us say for isopropyl the first letter i is taken alphabetic order but in the case of secondary butyl s is not considered second is not considered only b is considered that is why secondary butyl comes first and isopropyl the second according to iupac nomenclature we have to use alphabetic order isopropyl and secondary butyl means we are not taking i and s but according to this rule we are taking i and b that is why this is 1 2 3 4 5 this is a fifth carbon atom the fifth carbon atom secondary butyl is present that is a 5 secondary butyl in the fourth carbon atom isopropyl is present that is a 4 isopropyl decane this is the correct name for this one next example using common name and iupac name for substituent for example here we are using isopropylene secondary butyl it's a common name in iupac system but in this case this is total number of carbon atoms 9 in the carbon chain that is why this is non in 9 carbon atom non plus a non in the fifth carbon atom this group is attached the carbon containing 4 carbon means that is neopentyl that is called neopentyl but here it is given as 2 comma 2 dimethyl at the fifth carbon atom this is 1 2 3 at the 2 position there are 2 methyl is there that is say this part is called 2 comma 2 dimethyl propyl we can also write in the place of 2 comma 2 dimethyl 5 neopentyl non in as a common name also included in the IEPAC chain. The IEPAC chain is 9 non in we can use IUPAC name for side chain otherwise common name for side chain both are similar only. The next case IEPAC <coughs> nomenclature system in the cyclic compounds a saturated monocyclic compound is named by prefixing cyclo if it is closed chain means we have to use cyclo as a prefix with the corresponding side chain if side chains are present then the rules given above are applied names of some cyclic compounds are given below for example here 1 2 3 4 5 carbon is there only single bond pentane it is look like cycle that is why cyclopentane. Alphabetic order for numbering in this cyclohexane there are 6 carbon atom in this ring that is why we have to write the main chain as cyclohexane in this methyl group this bond line formula here only one carbon atom methyl group CH3 this is CH2 CH2 CH3 propyl group methyl and propyl is present that is why the number one carbon atom is taken as the carbon attached to methyl according to alphabetic order 
m comes first that is say 1 methyl 2 1 3 propyl this this rule is also used for the open chain compound also but in the case of more branched carbon atoms present in the main chain means that is carbon gets lower number for example the compound is given like this now this is methyl and ethyl ethyl the carbon attached to ethyl should get least number but in this case here 2 methyl is present that is why this is number 1 carbon atom here we have to use the tertiary carbon atom is preferred instead of alphabet that is methyl methyl ethyl is present but the number 1 is given to more branched carbon gets lower number that is why this is 1 comma 1 dimethyl 3 ethyl but uh, alphabetic order based on first we have to write ethyl first that is ethyl present in the third carbon atom 3 ethyl and 1 comma 1 dimethyl this is cyclohexane this is a sub rules for naming IEPC nomenclature this is very useful for NEET and IIT students already uh, one more uh, video we discussed about the first six main rules uh, you can also see that one and uh, this is addition to that thank you students